Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a HDRI into SketchUp. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Extensions, go down to V-Ray, and go into the Asset Editor. So automatically I get my Materials panel up, and uh, I've got a scene already set up here of a bedroom set. And what you'll notice is on the right hand side I've got a window that opens up into... Uh, currently nothing. I haven't built an environment. I haven't put a backdrop in there. All of that's going to be brought in by my HDRI. To actually add the HDRI, what I need to do is I need to go to Extensions again, V-Ray, V-Ray Lights, and you'll see we've got our usual rectangle, sphere, etc, etc, all physical lights. Now you'll notice at the bottom we've got dome light. That isn't a physical light. What it is, it's a reference point for the HDRI. So if you've ever rendered using a dome light and nothing's come up, that will be the reason why. So I'm going to very quickly just zoom out of my model and move this to the side. And what I'm going to do is go to uh, extensions and to V-Ray lights, click on dome light, and I'm just going to click anywhere outside of the space that I've created. And you can see I've got my dome there with an arrow. And if I render that now, that won't come up. That's not a physical thing. And what you'll see in my lighting panel is that I now have a dome light. And when I click on that, you can see that my preview changes. So instead of uh, any physical light we have in there with the sphere and the rectangle, we'll get a boarded up room with a preview of the light. The dome light's very different. We instead have a sphere, we have a backdrop, we have the floor, and we have a shadow to kind of give us an indication of what kind of light we're bringing in. Now we need to load the HDR file. So that's the downloaded HDR that you can get off a number of different websites. One of my favourite is HDRI Haven, and most of them are completely free as well. To load them in, you're going to go to colour slash texture HDR, and you're going to go over to the texture slot. When I click on that, I'll get the option to open a file. And I'm going to open my directory. And I've got a few HDR files here ready to go. And I'm going to load in uh, this snowy forest HDR. I'm just going to click open. Now you can see my preview's changed. So this is the backdrop that will basically surround my model. So instead of the sky that you get by default in SketchUp, what you'll see in the render is this forest. So you don't need to actually build an environment out of any windows or any holes in your set, for example. You can just use a HDR if that works, uh, if you're happy with the effect that that creates. I'm going to click on the back arrow, and you can see that my preview will now update with that texture, but you can see how the lighting's also changed as well. So the HDRI doesn't just add a backdrop, it changes our whole lighting, almost like the whole lighting for the world, as opposed to individual practical lights. It's also quite dark, so what I'm going to do is I've got my strength set to 1 currently, I'm going to change that to 40. Now it will go really strong in the preview, uh, don't be dissuaded by that, in the render it will be much less intense. So let's go back to my scene. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to disable that light by clicking on the dome there. I'm just going to show you a little kind of before and after. If I delete the default tray as well. well. So I'm going to render now without the HDRI activated. So here's the render without the HDR activated. And you can see that out my window it's pitch black. And my set is only being lit by the four practicals I've got. So I've got the two lamps, I've got the LED strip just above the bed, and I've got a very faint LED strip in the ceiling that you can actually see better reflected in the glass. I'm going to stop that render. I'm going to enable the dome light there, uh, which is enabling my HDRI. I'm going to render now. And you can see the difference it's made already. You can see the forest in the backdrop there, so I've got something actually physically out my room. And 
the whole set is being lit up completely differently and it's a really nice natural light. I love using HDRs purely because they always just tend to look, make your set look much more realistic purely because of the light that they bring in. Especially if you're uh, just learning to use lighting and you know using practicals can be quite daunting and maybe you're just uh, getting started in 3D digital modeling then HDRs are a really great way to go and you can add them into pretty much every 3D program. I'm going to stop that because there's just one little flaw in what we've done and you can see that there's a big chunk missing out of my backdrop here. Where it cuts off, that's your horizon line. So by default, the HDR file will only affect the sky. It won't affect the ground as well. And we need to change that. It's very simple to do. All we do is where it says shape in the dome light settings, it's currently set to hemisphere. I'm going to click on that and change it to sphere. And you can see in the preview now that it extends all the way down. What I'm also going to enable is use transform. So currently you can see that we've got a certain, ele certain section of the HDR in the viewport. And say I didn't want to see that part of the HDR texture. Say I wanted to see the other side of it or just rotate it. Use transform will enable me to do that. So I can now click on the dome that I placed outside the room, rotate it, and the texture and lighting will move along with it. If I have that disabled, no matter how much I try rotating that dome, it's not going to change what I see out the window. So just enable that. We've got our usual invisible shadows, caustic settings that you get with pretty much every light as well if you want to change any of those. So what I'll do now is start a new render. And there we have it. So we've got a full image outside of the window. My room's been beautifully lit up. And again, if there's just really sort of small things that you want to change, then you've got your options here. And remember, you've also got in the very bottom left hand corner, a kind of mini Photoshop, if you like, which you can use to alter exposure, hue, white balance, etc, etc. So you don't need to start a whole new render. You can make changes here if needs be. But there we go, I'm going to let this render and I'll show you the final image at the end. But that's how we add a HDRI into SketchUp.